trotting through the forest, as usual, looking for some mice to practice hunting on, when I heard a noise to my left. It was a human. I hadn't seen humans in this forest for a long time, so I nervously looked up towards his face and said, Hi. What happened after that changed my life. He looked at me, smiled, and said, Hello. Can you understand me? Of course I can. Oh my gosh, the others won't be able to believe this. Who are the others? No time to talk. And I ran back to my den as fast as I could. Once I got there, I told the other foxes in my skull what had happened. They laughed at me and said, You must have just thought he was talking to you. The next day, I went back to the same spot in the forest where I had seen the boy. And sure enough, he was there. Hi again. Can you really understand me? Yep. Really? Yes. What's your favorite color? Red. What am I? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. What species am I? You're a fox. Why are you asking me all these questions? No time to explain. And I ran back to my den as fast as I could. But when I got there and told the other foxes in my skulk that the boy really was talking to me, they just laughed and said, It must be a misunderstanding. That night, I came up with a plan to prove to them that I was telling the truth. The next day, I went back to the same spot in the forest again and found the boy again. Hello. Hi. Can I ask something of you? What is it? Will you come to my den with me? I would love to. And we ran back to my den as fast as we could. And when we got there, I went inside and told the other foxes in my skulk, I brought the boy here. The boy can talk to us. But they just laughed at me and said, We won't believe it unless we see it. And so I told them to come outside. But when everyone was out of the den, the boy was gone. The next day, I went back to the same spot in the woods. But instead of the boy being there, there was another fox. I asked him who he was and said, you already know who I am. And then it clicked. You see, this forest is a magical forest. So when the boy was so close to so many foxes at once, he turned into a fox. And again, we ran back to my den as fast as we could. And when we got there, we both went inside. When I told the foxes that this boy that this was the boy, they looked at me like I was crazy. This isn't a boy. This is just another fox. I am the boy. Er, I was the boy. After I explained to them that he got too close to our den and turned into a fox, they saw the sad, confused, and embarrassed face of the used-to-be boy and seemed to believe me. And they said, You know what? Maybe we don't need to see the boy.